I remember when I shared with someone what I did and they said, oh, you have a little crazy in your DNA. <laughs> yes, in fact, as an entrepreneur, we do. There is no such thing as a straight ladder to success. Welcome back to Inspired Living with Carrie Murphy. In this episode, I'm talking about something that is near and dear to my heart after being an entrepreneur for over 23 years. I know that sometimes it's just not easy, that there are times along your journey that you're asking yourself the question, is it time to let go or is it time to level up? Is it time to give up on the dream of becoming that entrepreneur or growing that business or launching that product? Or is it time to double down and work harder to get the result? And even though I certainly don't have all the answers, I want to share some things with you today that might really help you in making that decision. I think the first thing you have to ask yourself is why? Why are you doing what you're doing? Is there this tugging on your heartstring? every single day you get up that is leading you to this mission, you know, encouraging you to build out the product line or launch the program or build the site or change lives. I remember when I shared with someone what I did and they said, oh, you have a little crazy in your DNA. <laughs> yes, in fact, as an entrepreneur, we do. There is no such thing as a straight ladder to success. You will fail, you will have obstacles, you will have challenges. So if that why is not really strong for you, you might wanna take a moment and just reassess. You know, are you willing to go the extra mile when things get tough because you believe so much in what you do? It reminds me of Jamie Kern Lima's story, how she started It Cosmetics. And she got to a place with $1,000 in her business account. Her and her husband were working on the brand together. And she was told no after no after no after no. Now, you and I might go, oh, McKay, that's enough no's. I'm out. But she knew. She just knew in her why. She trusted her intuition that she was onto something. Six years later, she got her big breakthrough moment on QVC. So again, you know, how bad do you want it? And what is the bigger why? I think it's also really important to trust your intuition. You know, I remember in my early days, my first business was interior design and I did it for five years. And there were a lot of things I loved about it. I love creating beautiful spaces. I love working with textures. I actually love just building out beautiful brands and beautiful things. But when I had the opportunity to buy the talent agency I went through as a little girl, I was like, I'm in, forget this, right? The why wasn't strong enough. I enjoyed it, but it really wasn't my calling. And I think for some of us, we need to continue to evolve into that. And sometimes we need to let go of something so we can actually level up in other areas. So I would really trust your intuition. If you're still and you're breathing in and you just ask God, the universe, your inner self, the question, should I keep going? What do you hear? The next thing I want to encourage you to really think about is, you know, what will you regret five years from now? If you decide to close up shop and say, I'm moving on, I'm not doing this anymore, will you look back? five, 10 years from now with overwhelming regret because you never did that thing you knew you really wanted to do. So I want to just reiterate, building a business, being an entrepreneur is not easy. In fact, I think it's one of the toughest things that you can do. And every entrepreneur, every business owner, every celebrity I've interviewed that has reached a certain level of success has gone through a lot of trial and tribulations. So here are a few things I also want to encourage you to do. Number one, ask for help. You don't know what you don't know, and no one knows that better than me. In fact, I quote Les Brown all the time who says, you can't see the frame when you're in the picture. And sometimes you're just stuck in your picture. So I'm going to encourage you to raise the flag and ask for help. I also can look back now at my life and creating this seven figure brand with Inspired Living. And so much of what I created externally was an inside job. 
So maybe it's time to dig a little deeper within, to hire a coach or a spiritual advisor or someone that can help you work through some of the blocks that's keeping you stuck where you are. These two things, I've had both, a business coach, I always have one, and my spiritual advisor and intuitive coach, which is now my best friend, um, they helped me so much when I was going through those tough patches to help me really reframe my beliefs, what I was thinking, and the possibilities in my life. And the third thing is to really surround yourself with other visionaries. I will say sometimes you just feel like the lost unicorn. You feel like no one else is out there struggling the way you are, who has the big ideas and dreams that you do. And if you have this big vision on your heart, it is your compass. It is exactly what you should be doing. So don't give up, don't give up. It is always tough before you get to the top of any mountain, right? Malcolm Gladwell talks about the 10,000 hours and that failing forward is just a part of getting to that next place of success and achievement. So if this is something that you really want, dig in, dive in a little deeper, ask for help, invest in yourself, surround yourself with a community that supports you in your vision and know that you are amazing, that you are on purpose, and that more than anything, impatience kills dreams more than anything else. Not talent, not possibility, and not opportunity. Impatience. So keep going towards your dreams. Believe deeply in yourself and what you're doing. If it's time to let go, let go with joy so you can level up into something better. Many of you know I lost my talent agency in 2008 and that was a forced let go. Like I did not want to let go at the time. In fact, I was holding on so tight because I was scared. But I have to say, sometimes you have to lose it all to gain it all. And so you really have to choose for you right now what's showing up, do some inner work, and then get ready to step into whatever is next for you. I would love to hear from you. Please post your comments, and if you know of someone that could benefit from this, please subscribe and share, and remember that you are no accident, right? I wanna go back to your vision is your destiny, and to remember to dream it, live it, and be it. Until next time.